Hi mga sis! Welcome to my channel and today, let's have some chikahan at syempre, fruitful chikahan ite. And for this video, we are going to talk about the historical background, it's controversial, and I am going to give some of my opinion. So ito na nga, kapit na mga sis. Because the Katipunan was a secret society, its members were held to the highest standards of secrecy and adherence to the organization's regulations. Initially, only male Filipinos were allowed to join the Katipunan. Later, women were allowed to join. The Katipunan had its own publication and it is Kalayaan, which was first printed in March 1896. In order to plot the revolution, Bonifacio approached Rizal and asked for his entire support for the Katipunan in exchange for a promise to free Rizal from detention. The Katipunan's leadership met with the captain of a visiting Japanese vessel in May 1896 in an unsuccessful attempt to secure a source of arms for the revolution. Bonifacio and his soldiers tore up their cedulas at the cry of Pugad Lawin, which kicked off the Philippine Revolution. At dahil may angking marites din ng ating mga Spanish authorities, they learned of the secret society's existence. One of the most controversial is the first cry of the Katipunan, which isn't just shouting or sabbing, but the first cry when they declare rebellions. On what date did the first cry occur? Many dates appear as to when the first cry occurred, with some claiming August 23, August 24, or August 25, 1896. There are also two locations where the first cry is reported to have occurred, the Balintawak and the Pugad Lawin. However, to keep the story brief, our researchers shifted the date to August 23, 1986 when the first cry of the Katipunan occurred in the vicinity of Pugad Lawid. In my judgment, the Katipunan talk of honor, generosity, and self-sacrifice, while also warning the consequences for traitors and disobedience. The Cartilla, on the other hand, was longer and more intellectual. It taught self-reflection through its philosophy of virtuous life. For example, they believe in creating objectives and taking activities to accomplish them regardless of the obstacles. They also believe in doing the right thing and demonstrating the concept of compassion by serving others and loving them. So that's it for today, mga sis. Uulitin ko, this is me, your sis Crisel. See you again on my next vlog. Babush!